Hold on, before you get to the video, your boy just wants to shout you out and say I appreciate you oh so much for your support and attendance on this channel dedicated to building healthy, happy, and whole biblical relationships in your lives and in the lives of others. What you're about to listen to is a clip from a previous podcast interview I did with a coach and life mentor of mine covering marriage, dating, singleness, all of those things, even the topic that is being discussed in this video. And if you want to see the full interview, click the link in the description and don't forget to check it out. Catch you over there. There, There's a lot of process that's missing. People aren't willing to invest. Um, I think if you ask me, there are people who aren't willing to find a reason to invest into somebody. Everything has to happen right now, right? I, I, I need to have this labeling. I need to have the, the relationship. I need to have the title. I need to have all that right now, right? I, I don't want to build anything. I don't want to invest into anything. I don't want to actually build and process. I don't want to get to know you to actually understand if this is something that we really want to create for the long term. Um, and then we jump to a lot of the fears, right? It's a lot of the stories that we tell ourselves and the things that we hear from social media. Man, she's not real interested because she does this, this, and this. And there's a lack of understanding on, on just perspective and context context, being curious enough to wonder, ask questions. There's there's a lack of all of that, man. And everybody's jumping to extremes. Uh, and and I see so much of that even in, in today's culture. And then, of course, outside of the expectations for me, it would be the unwillingness to heal properly. Uh, we would rather we would rather engage in another romantic relationship instead of being single and learning how to love ourselves, trust ourselves and be healed again to come into a place complete. So we would rather be felt than to feel our emotions and work through those processes. Um, and, and there's a lot of understanding from that in an empathetic way. However, we also know that that's just massaging the wound. It's not actually doing the healing. And so for me, that's why a lot of the message is the singleness is necessary. We, we don't like it. Um, or there's a lot of stereotypical perspectives on singleness for people. And maybe you're not even somebody who doesn't enjoy singleness, but you're just kind of you're just kind of coasting through it, right? You're you're single. You admit you're single. I'm, I'm cool. But you're also not growing and putting in work in areas that could actually propel you to be prepared for the relationship you're looking for. Mm -hmm. And this is why you're, you're, you're kind of wondering, well, where is the one? Well, they're waiting, you're waiting on you because you haven't done the work yet. You haven't really actually invested and put in time to actually learn how your own insecurities could actually ruin the relationship you're actually looking for. And you haven't really looked into those things to actually see what is necessary for me to look at, investigate and journey through and recognize that it's a process and healing is in milestones that you think you have to be all put together before you get into a relationship. Cause that's never been my message. What I'm telling you is right. that you need to be willing to investigate and progress. So right. there's milestones to this. And then when you get to that level where you say, now I have the capacity to invest in somebody again, I have the capacity to walk and journey with somebody again, to learn someone again, to commit to understanding someone again, that's where that commitment, that space is opened up for. Uh, but we don't do the proper work because we don't, we just don't like what we see. And at some point, we got to be willing to sit down and look at ourselves before we just start telling everybody that the dating pool is full of piss that we're actually participating in. Um, we gotta, we gotta be willing to look at ourselves in some kind of capacity. Let me share some things real quick. I promise I'll do it with brevity. Invest. Mm -hmm. You you talked about investing. So let me touch on that really quick. Investing is a game of patience. It's also an expectation that in the patience that I will get an ROI, yeah. a return on my investment. Investment is a game of patience, not a game of Hurry. Investment typically is long term and not short term. When we invest, we don't look for short term returns. We wait for it to mature. That's even investment language. We wait for that investment to mature and to become something. The other thing you may mention of is build. To build, you have to have vision. You have to be able to see the house that you're in, the house that I'm in. Somebody saw it, sat down, put it on paper, built out the rooms, did everything, how it was going to be, 
then said, now I'm going to go buy some land and then I'm going to build what I see. You have to see it first and then walk it out. You build it here and then you then then you go and you do the investment part to see it. A lot of people, Sean, will look at my 31 years and they will they will think to themselves, I want that. They don't want investment and they don't want building. So so this that's what I was trying to explain to you earlier. It's none of the stuff that people think that it is. Oh, I'll just get married and we do and it'll be great. No, no. One of the first things I told uh, my son-in-law, um, my newest son-in-law, when he came and here he walked in this house and he was like, whoa, you know, he, oh, this, that, another. And I told him, I said, if I give you this property, it would crush you because you haven't built yourself up to be able to handle what it costs to be here. Mm. You see, his eyes could see something. And instead of him saying, hey, how do I enter into a process to where I can get this one day? No, he was like, ooh, I wish I had this without understanding the weight of it. It would, mm. it would crush him because he hasn't put in the time. He doesn't have the, the, the two by fours and the, the cement and the rebar and all this other kind of stuff that he's built under it to handle the weight of it, Sean. He can't handle the weight of it. It would be, it would be too heavy. So for a moment, he would enjoy it. And then it would become a burden because there's been no investment and no building. That's why you just can't give somebody a relationship. It has to be invested in and it has to be built in. Now, the last thing you said was a process. Everybody wants to hop out of a process. But what you don't understand about process is this. Process has within it staying power. So when I stay in a process, I am building the stamina to go further. Process does that for me, not gifting. So, so sometimes, watch this, so, and, and I'm going to say this, and I, I say this respectfully to people, some people can't be in a relationship with somebody who's completed process because they won't be able to handle that because they're behind in that scenario and situation. They're behind in that. They can't handle somebody who's already gone through process because they haven't done it. So being in that space, being in that place, is unfamiliar to them because they've made no investment, they've built nothing, and they hopped out of process too soon. So when that other person gets there and they show up in their lives, they say they want this, but they don't really want that because this person has already done a lot of that work. They've invested in themselves. They've built a life that they, they're happy with and they can live in and that they completed some processes. So they're in another place. And some people as you were alluding to my conversation with you yesterday, people will try to latch onto that and say, well, I don't have to grow with this person grows. Well, I'm gonna tell you what will happen is that person will start to do this and you'll start to feel like this person doesn't care about you and they're just walking away from you. No, you are refusing to continue to move alongside and develop in your own process with this person. And so it feels difficult for you because this person has already started moving forward in that area of their lives. And so I think it's really important. And I'll say this lastly, stop wishing you had somebody else's relationship and pointing to somebody else's relationship because you don't know the difficulty and the level of challenge and process that they went through, Sean, in order to achieve what they have. You're looking at end results. You're not looking at beginnings and middles. You're looking at the end. And most people don't want to deal with the middle and the beginning. They just want the end. And that right there is a cheap way to decide that you want to go into something because you, you haven't paid enough price to be able to have what you're looking at. You haven't paid the price for that. True story. Yeah.